Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, welcome to Christmas ceremony. Today we have a very special gathering of circle of circles, and I welcome everyone. And uh, let's go with the flow. Let's see how it will go. It's experiment, and we call in all the angels uh, to help us. Welcome, everyone. Our webinar today, where two or more are gathered, preparing the new Christmas. At this sacred time, we offer a ceremony that brings together several groups gathering in circles around the world, serving to manifest and anchor a network of light, standing together in the name of the living Christ as the world group forerunner of the new Aquarian era. We will together and as a group invoke the spirit of the new Christmas. In this ceremony, we will be linking the Hechal group circle in Jerusalem. Will you please wave to us, Hechal, who will offer the alignment the Moria Federation and Northern Society Circle near the Arctic Circle in Finland, who will lead us in a ritual. Please wave to us. And the Life Bridge Gathering in upstate New York, USA, who will offer our closing meditation. Present in the circle of groups, the network of light around this planet are also the Hamsa group on the Sunshine Coast in Australia. Sydney Goodwill in Australia. Esoteric and Astrological Institute in Santa Cruz, USA. They do not have a camera, imagine them waving to us. And transition team from Brussels, Europe. Please have seven candles ready to light in each of our circles around the globe. That will happen during the ritual. And these seven candles will represent these seven groups. Please also have a bell ready if possible. Let us now travel together to Jerusalem and join the Hechal group there. Hechal means sacred space in Hebrew. The Hechal group is an outpost of the will to love in Jerusalem. Working for over 20 years for unity and right relations. Uta Gabe will lead us in our alignment. As we continue, we hold the silence. We are beginning to understand silence as action. And 
Uta, please unmute yourself. Oh, here we go. Yes, we can hear you, Uta. Oops. Okay, dear friends, Christmas greetings from Jerusalem. The Hechal group is gathered here in the southest part of Jerusalem, overlooking Bethlehem. From behind the house, we can see the Nativity Church. If, uh, if you have the picture on the screen, you can see on the right side of the picture the, the golden cupola. This is the Nativity Church. Uh, this picture is taken from behind the house of Helen, where we are now. Uh, and there are gathered around 10,000 tourists for the traditional Christmas Midnight Mass. And here in Israel, there are many, many homes lit with the Hanukkah candles as well. In Jerusalem, we sit on the physical foundations of the Christ's presence 2,000 years ago. There are archaeolo archaeological sites, and there are colorful Christmas decorations. But like in many places of the world, the Christ spirit is increasingly absent from Christmas celebrations. This beautiful ritual is disintegrating as part of the old world. And it seems that the Piscean Christ needs to be released for the Aquarian Christ to be born in the consciousness of humanity. The old form is being replaced by a new form. For more and more spiritual people, online meditations seem to take the place of the church or the synagogue or the mosque in order to be with one's community. We find the Christ within and we share this inner experience, intimate experience with others who resonate with this vibration. We build a new temple out of finer fabric on a more refined level of consciousness. Where two or three are gathered in the Aquarian spirit there will be built a new temple, woven of the new vibration. So on this day of the birth of Jesus Christ, we are a joyous receptacle for the new. We do capitalize on the Christ spirit present in the Christian hearts, which are more open today and on the Christmas blessing which the angels pour through them, and on the love that is already manifest on our planet through the groups which work for the common good. And we open our hearts wide for the greater good that is waiting to manifest, the coming of the Aquarian Christ. Thus, we link the past and the present and the future. And we weave lines of joy and love into the network of the new light around our planet. Let us now collect ourselves into our inner sanctuary into our sacred inner silence. We light a candle in our heart 
in gratitude and joy. And we now share our lit hearts with each other on this call. We create together a sacred temple, a festive, expectant atmosphere, a chalice. We conjoin the love which flows more strongly on our planet tonight, today. Let it reverberate in our hearts. We welcome the blessing of the angels pouring through It fills our sacred group temple. With much joy, we are holding this sacred space together as we now start our ceremonial work. We now travel to Finland, where two Eurobins will facilitate our ritual. The Moria Federation is a pioneering esoteric school modeled on the curriculum for the preparatory new schools of meditation to be found in Letters on Occult Meditation. The Northern Light Society is an expansive organization presenting many different kinds of in-person, broadcast, and webinar programs. Northern Light Society presentations are based in the Temple of Silence within the Castle of Peace facility, Rahanlina, in the suburbs of Helsinki, Finland. Over to you, Tuya. Yeah, please unmute yourself. Michael, we cannot hear you, please. There's some technical difficulties, so we just hold space of silence. And whenever Michael and Tuya, you're ready, please step in. Okay, thank you. Hi, we didn't uh, be able to unmute us. Anyway, hello from Finland to everybody and Merry Merry Christmas. We send our love from our little place and the darkness surrounds us the, at the moment and brings us into the um, very deep connection to this whole idea of the birth of the Christ in the cave. And thank you, Uta, and thank you, Sasha, and Doc, and everybody. 
So uh, please have ready your seven candles because we are going to light the candle for each of the seven crooks which are now present. And we are trying to build the centers of light network. And if you happen to have, um, if not now, but maybe sometimes that you have a map, world map with you, so you can always put these candles on the place where these groups are situated. So as the hierarchy stands as a center of light and strength to humanity, so do we stand and build the centers of light for the strengthen to humanity and also to strengthen all the groups and the servers on earth. Let us blend the light with other groups and thus increase the efficiency of our service. <laughs> we blend our love with the love which pours forth from the soul towards each of the groups. And thus we deepen the relation of love between each and all the groups around the globe. Our goal now is to be submitted to the group union and thus arrive at the stripping away of all the veils which prevent the clear light of the soul from shining forth. And we can imagine shining forth the beautiful star of Bethlehem or the star of initiation. See the group mind as a center of pure light. In our creative imagination, let us form a strong and living organism, connected, unified, and integrated globally into the network of living light. By using silence as our tool, we center ourselves within the point of light. And let us have one minute silence.
We are now ready to name the global groups by name and then light a candle for each of them, now seven in number, and we can place the candles upon the map. As the symbol of strength, loving cooperation, and union between the new group of world servers and also for protection during the times of dangers of the forerunner. We create a wheel of living fire which burns not but ever heals. From the point of light streams out the being of light. We light the candles as the outer symbolism for that light that lights the way, the way towards the center where the light of light exists. And now we will start naming the seven crooks around the world and after every country we sound on and then you can there in your places also ring bell for a while so first we will light the candle for heko group in jerusalem We light the second candle for us here for the Northern Light Society and for the Moria Federation in Finland. Third candle for the life priest gathering, New York, United States. Fourth candle for Hamsa Group Sunshine Ghost Australia. Fifth candle for Sydney Goodwill Group, Australia.
the sixth candle for esoteric and astrological institute, Santa Cruz, California, United States. And the seventh candle for transition team, Brussels, Belgium, Europe. Now we have created five pointed, oh, I'm sorry, seven pointed star with candles. And in our hearts, we bless every single group and think of everyone with love and with the thoughts of cooperation. Let us see now before ourselves a wheel of fire with seven spokes immediately before your eyes. See the group standing in the center at the hub of the wheel. And now regard yourself as if you were the hub. From that central position, send out the seven streams of living love radiating upon the world. It generates a protective force and at the same time makes us living centers of light and love for preparations for his coming. Via the seven groups, let us anchor the impulse of the new Christmas. The new living future. And we will close here from Finland again having one minute silence and then closing with bells and these bells are echoing and sounding for you merry merry christmas and blessings of the newborn christ to every single one and one minute silence
And now, we join the group gathering at LifeBridge Sanctuary in upstate New York, USA. Since 1992, LifeBridge has been promoting the concept of one humanity and the interconnectedness of all life. Groups using the sanctuary support this mission. Barbara Valacor will lead the meditation, the network of light, and the new civilization. Greetings, everyone. The network of light and the new civilization. Fusion. Link through the heart with the new group of world servers and with the souls of all fellow servers meditating on the themes of oneness and interconnectedness. Recognize the network of lighted centers around the world, physical centers of distribution where the seeds of the new civilization are taking root and the plan is in process of manifesting. Recognize the presence of the ashram within the aura of these centers. Without naming them, attune to the presences overshadowing and guiding these centers. See the centers as a network of light, receiving and circulating the energies of light, love, and power, and radiating them into humanity. Extend identification upward to the Christ and to Shambhala.
higher interlude. Hold the consciousness polarized within the ashram, open to the peaceful silent will focused within Shambhala. Be open to the purpose seeking expression through these lighted centers. Meditation on the seed thought. Let the forces of creative life circulate to form the triangle of fiery light within the new group of world servers standing on the mountaintop. Let the forces of creative life circulate to form the triangle of fiery light within the new group of world servers standing on the mountaintop.
precipitation. Visualize the flow of the will to good, essential love throughout the planet and see the energy of synthesis which holds all things within the circle of divine love as a constant, ever-present permeation of all planes and states of consciousness. Lower interlude. Reflect on the many groups that meet at the lighted centers as part of the vast network of the new group of world servers and ponder on how they are preparing the energetic field for the externalization process. Consider the role these centers are being asked to play in the life of the groups.
distribution. As the great invocation is sounded, visualize light, love, and the power of the will to good pouring through the five planetary inlets, London, Darjeeling, New York, Geneva, Tokyo, through the new group of world servers and into the land and vicinity on which all the lighted centers stand. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Thank you, everyone. We stand with the Christ in the fire of love to the glory of the one as we welcome the spirit of the new Christmas. Joy abounds. <laughs> 